Hi, hi. Hi. Hello, Jerry. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello. Sherry. How are you? Eleanor. Hi, Hi, Sherry. Hi, Hello. Hello. Hi, Sherry. Hi, 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 Hello. Hi,
But you also introduce yourself, right? Say hi, Sherry, or hello, Sherry. This is Tyler. I'm calling because it's time for my professional phone call. So basically, it's like you're not just talking to your friends, right? And that might be a, hey, what's up? Yo, right? All those different ways that we talk to our friends. What's up? So, so it wouldn't be like that, correct? Okay. So you are all required to call. And then do you think it would be okay to do it like within a five-minute window? Or do you think you need to do it right on time? Go ahead, Natasha. I would say right on time. Yes, right on time. See if I can turn this volume up because Devin probably can't hear us. Yeah, so wouldn't it be something that, you you know, your phone calls at 2, you wouldn't call me at like 2.04 or 2.07 and check in, right? Because that would not be professional. No. Okay, I mean, like, like if you're having a phone interview, right? If your phone interviews at 2 o'clock and you don't call them until like 2.04, then you already lost that job, right? Right. So I just want to make sure that you all know how to do that. Plus, I want to be able to check in with you because we don't get a whole lot of one-on-one -on -one time, right? I mean, between me and all of you, you get you get one-on-one -on -one time with the staff. So it's a good time for us to catch up. Plus, it's when I've gotten your evaluations for the week, so we can kind of talk about how you're doing and see if you need help from me on things. Okay. So that's one thing I wanted to cover. Another thing I want to cover is that the school emails real soon, it's going to lock everyone out that is not using their school email. That makes me real nervous for Natasha and Jordan, and I keep requesting school emails, but I know that technology department's a few weeks behind. If that happens, girls, we will figure out a way to make it work. Go ahead, Andrew. I've been trying to do it on, on my phone, but as you probably know, my phone tends to kick me out of the um, Zoom. Right, and I don't think it matters the device so long as so much as you're you for this purpose is that you're using your San Juan email because pretty soon that's the only thing that will be accepted. That's. Go ahead. What do you mean? The Zoom meeting that was outside. Yeah, we, I mean, hopefully we don't have to go to that, um, but maybe, I mean, I can get in trouble for that, but, you know, I mean, I need to be able to teach our whole class, right? And so I'm going to have to do what I have to do if the school district can't help me out because you all need to be here. Okay, um, what was the other thing? So the emails, the Friday check-in reschedule zoom end of day oh so this zoom ends tomorrow okay so please pay attention to emails because i'm gonna have to do another one all right we're good to go longer on our morning one our afternoon one ends tomorrow Okay, so please pay attention to emails. And if I happen to forget, bug me. So where's the new Zoom? Okay. Got it. <laughs> and I, that was pretty much what I had for check-in stuff. Jonathan, how'd your meeting go today? Good. Good. Were you able to answer a lot of the questions? Yeah. Yeah, like a lot? Like 20? 10? A lot. A lot. A lot. Okay. All right. How's everyone doing on their homework? Okay. <laughs> Pretty well. Yeah. What'd you say, Devin? Good. Good. Yeah, I saw that you turned something in. I saw I've been graded Royce's uh, last assignment. Go ahead, Nathan. 
I was going to say, I'm not sure if you got them, but I sent my uh, lost respect and my respect uh, assignment, both of them, to you today. Yes, I, I saw they were there, but I didn't have a chance to open them yet. Okay. Just as long as you got them, I'm good. Okay. Natasha, go ahead. I was just wondering, because I told you last time that I sent it to you, so what do I do? Well, we talked about them. Did you make the corrections I asked you to make? Yeah, I made the corrections. Okay, I don't know if I've looked at that part yet. Okay, just take your time. <laughs> these, these days go way too fast. Way too fast. Next, next. <laughs> Did I tell you all that I get evaluated this year? No, you didn't. What does this mean? No. Um, it's called System of Professional Growth. And I thought it was every five years, but it looks like it's every three years. I feel it's unfair to do when I'm just now learning how to work in this new environment. But nonetheless, it's happening. And like probably the first week in September, we'll be having our first lesson that someone's on observing. And it's not just observing a lesson. There's so much paperwork involved. And you have to show how you met like every content standard that you're supposed to. I mean, it's, it's, it's a stressful thing. I just printed out my blank paperwork for it today. And it's like front and back, like over 30 pages. And I haven't wow. started. So this is my assignment. <laughs> so uh -oh. I just, you know, I totally know how to teach in a classroom. It's just kind of hard to be this new at this and have people in here like, you know, marking me up for it. <laughs> Because we had zero training and we had one hour of training. That's it. And then it's like, okay, let's evaluate you now. <laughs> so um, it would be okay. Go ahead, Nathan. I just wanted to make a quick comment to that is that I kind of, that's how I kind of felt when I was interviewed <laughs> for Project Search. I don't know if anybody felt that way, but that's how I felt. Well, I, the I'm like talking and then I have like, a person marking things down. I'm just like, okay, this is a little bit cool, but a little bit stressful. You mean the interview? He has a point. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be, right? When we first <laughs> yeah, you had a lot. Are stressful. Okay, Jonathan, yeah, you're just fine, still yeah. half. Jonathan, I need you to mute unless you are going to say something important besides laughing. Okay. Royce, did you have something? No. Nope. Okay, your, your square is lit up. So, Nathan, did you want to say more about that? Um, I just wanted to say that. I didn't, like, it wasn't necessarily stressful, but it was, like, a little, like, hmm. It was, like, a little more of a new experience because that would that was my first, like, not necessarily. Come on, Stephane, I see you. Let's let Nathan new, finish. But, like, close uh, to a uh, job interview. That's what it's supposed to be like, right? Uh, that's what this whole entire class is supposed to be like. And pretty soon you'll be practicing lots of interviews and you will be um, editing each other and we'll be editing you. And as soon as we get back in the hospital, you'll be having the interviews with the managers. And hopefully within the year, you'll also be interviewing for real job. So the, the more you practice, the more comfortable and the better you get. But honestly, a panel interview, which is what that's called, right? When more than one person interviews you, that's never comfortable. <laughs> it's, but, but we can get more confident in it. Go ahead, Stefan. If I'm being honest, interviews aren't that bad for me. I honestly like meeting people. It's like I did a fake interview with my teacher, Jacob, and he said that I did very good. Good. And I didn't even practice, he said, so, you know. I, it's not that hard for me, but I understand where he's coming from. The person you're speaking to might intimidate you a bit. But I like to think of the good in everyone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Stefan, do you sit in a chair when we're in class? Me? Oh, no. I am sitting on my bed. Okay. Do you have a chair that you can sit in for class? I can go get one if you would like. Uh, we're okay for this moment, but, but the thing you do with your rocking... And then that comes to interviews too, it's gonna be really distracting. And I don't know if you know that you do it, but I think it's easier if you're sitting in a chair to kind of control it. Because um, if you go into a real interview and you're rocking like that, that's 
not going to show the best you. You know what I That's mean? That's fair. I don't mean it is, you know, I mean, everything I try to do is constructive criticism, they call it. No, right? it's fine. It's fine. I, I don't get offended that easily. Okay. So in the future, I think it would be a good idea if you sat in a chair. I can do that. I can do it starting Monday. Okay. And then, Andrew, I know that you have all this stuff, different stuff going too, but you have to be able to focus, right? So I prefer you not have other screens and things up when we're in these class sessions. Natasha, did I see your hand? Yeah, I was just going to say that you're evolving. Like when you're trying to check on us through our, our uniform, you're trying to show us that they want us to look a certain way and you're teaching us how to be ready for an interview and a job. Yeah, and it's the honest truth. I'm probably going to hold you to things more than anyone's held them held you to before, but it's because with my whole heart, I want you to all be able to go out there and get and keep a job and live as independent lives as you can. And that's why I'm so strict. It's not just I'm not a mean person. I'm honestly not. Go ahead, Nathan. Um, I, that's what I meant by that one day when you were dropping our stuff off. That's what I meant by when I was like talking to you, like, as in like, I get it. And I learned, I learned that I best learn best from that. And that's what I meant kind of like a drill sergeant. I'm not calling you a drill sergeant, but I'm like saying it's like one because of that thing is because I know that you care about me, but at the same time, and you want what's best for me, but at the same time, you don't want to have to keep repeating yourself kind of thing. That's what I meant by it's like a drill sergeant. <laughs> and I don't even mind repeating, but you know, you're all getting close to the age where you're not going to be in school anymore. And I'm sure I probably told you this story. I mean, you have the choice of working independent or working with someone to help you, right? Like in a program, or you have the option of SSI on your parents' couch for, and walking the walls basically for all your days. And for some moments, for a short period of time, that might be really cool and really fun. But to do it for your whole life, you'll be really, really bored and not have very much spending money at the mall either. Go ahead, Natasha. I'm gonna, I was going to say your example is really good because I think if you have SSI, you want your own bank account because you can't always depend on your parents to get your money for your whole entire life. And that's something, that would be our unit in self-advocacy, right? I mean, I truly believe even if you all are planning to stay at home, and I know you don't all have SSI, but those of you that do, I try to work with you and your family that even, you know, say you turn over 800 of your 900 or whatever to your household to help with bills. I think it's a great idea if they if you write like separate checks or something, it's like, okay, my responsibility part of the rent is 400, right? And I'm supposed to pay 100 towards utilities. I, I want you to see where your money goes and have some control over that. So I, like I say, I'll work with you and your parents to help you become more independent with your money management. Even if it's going, you know, you know the 800 is going to mom and they just take it right then. It's like, wouldn't you like to have that broken down a little bit? And it gives you more practice, right? Okay, so if the 400 is for rent, I'm going to write a check for that. And if I'm supposed to contribute, you know, it's different in every house. 200 for food, then do I buy it? And that's even better. Say if you have 200 that you're spending on food, maybe you can actually do that shopping rather than just handing over the money and having it done for you. Just all these steps work towards independence. Go ahead, Jordan. And say about the thing about that you're saying about the shopping. What mm -hmm. me and Aunt Lonnie do is when we go shopping, she buys her groceries and then I buy my groceries. Yeah, I mean, it's just every step we can take towards independence is a good thing for your lives. Go ahead, Natasha. I use food stamps though when I buy my groceries. And I, I know some of you have those and you still have to learn how to budget them, right? Yeah, you do. You, have to you, don't get, you don't get unlimited food stamps, right? You get a certain amount for the month. And actually, we do this pretty fun grocery, grocery ads assignment, right? And Tyler, for example, did a fabulous job. So we kind of plan out a week of food and we plan out the amount we can spend 
and we look at grocery ads and we try to come up with, you know, a certain amount of meals. And Tyler, probably of all my students ever, is really, really good at budgeting his food money. Right? Because most people, they start out kind of extravagant. Well, I want this and I want that and I want this and I want that. And within three days, they've used their budget for the week, right? Or, or learning how to buy something you can use more than once. For example, if you buy a, a bag of potatoes, right, you can make potatoes in all kinds of ways. And a bag of potatoes is really inexpensive, right? So it's like, all right, so this time I have mashed potatoes with this and this time I'm going to have baked potato with this and you know, so we really practice those things a lot. Go ahead, Stefan. I was going to say, doesn't it depend on the type of food as well, like the type of potatoes? Yeah, but like all potatoes are inexpensive. Viable than the other. Say, for yeah, example, that's... somebody wants uh, potatoes one night and they want pasta the next night and they want rice the next night and you know where they're only using things one time that's where it kind of gets more expensive we have four minutes go ahead andrew i was just about to say that <laughs> oh that we have four minutes are you my timekeeper Bad, you have something Apparently. uh what would you recommend is the best like food to go for in terms of budgeting well we'll, we'll do a whole section on that but for, the, for example, on those potatoes, right, that's a great deal. Or when, or they want to buy five different kinds of meat for the week, where say you bought a pack of four pork chops, right? You could eat two nights, three nights, four nights, but you can't buy a separate kind of meat for every night of the week when you're on a limited budget. I say you can't buy chicken or steak or pork. But you can, if you are, if you learn to use them for multiple meals, you can, mm -hmm. right? So say you're buying four pork chops and you eat two a night, plan two dinners that are pork chops. They don't even have to be right in a row, right? Because yeah. you can freeze two of them and you can have two of them thawed for when you want to eat them. So we'll, we'll practice things like budgeting and um, advocating for yourself and taking care of your own needs. We'll do a lot of those things in our class. We're only on our first unit right now, right? Which is, mm -hmm. what What unit are we on? One. What's it called? One. Soft skills. Soft skills, right? Soft skills. And we'll apply soft skills all through the year, but we will finish soft skills at the end of this packet and we'll move on to something else. But we'll still use those soft skills we learned about all year round, right? But mm -hmm. we're not going to... That's not all we do all year. That's just one unit of what we do. <laughs> okay. We gonna learn a lot more. Yeah, there's lots more coming your way. And I'm just trying to, Yvonne and I develop it online as we go so we can do <laughs> it for you. <laughs> all right. We have two minutes. Do we have any other questions, comments, concerns? Guess not. Well, that's, that's a really good sign. Means you're all understanding and doing okay? Yeah, I just I'm checking on everyone. Uh, hold on. What did you say, Andrew? I'm checking on everyone. I'm swiping through, checking, so just to make sure that they don't have their hand raised. I'm kind of helping out a little bit. Okay, that's not your job, right? Sorry. Your job is the student. I don't need to, because now if you're telling me what other ones are doing, that's kind of like what they call tattletailing, right? And it doesn't make you popular with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard Clad say something, and I saw the talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. As I was saying, that just means we're getting used to this kind of thing. Yeah, you're learning it. That, but you know, he has a point. You apply it naturally as you learn it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like we're riding a bike. Yeah. So do any of you think you've Which learned anything hard at all. about soft skills that you didn't know before? Yes. Yes? Good. Good, good. All right. Let me take Natasha's question, then we'll be out for the I, day. Go ahead, Natasha. I just had a question about like um, Yvonne helping me with the resume. So resumes come later. Okay. But if you're trying to get a job, then we can we can try and fit that in our schedule. So yes, you can get help. Um, 
it's usually our last unit when we're really focusing on these things, but also we do resumes at the beginning, towards the beginning before we go on our internships, and then we update them after every internship with the new skills that you've learned. Okay, but so did you ask her to help you with that? Yeah, I did. Okay, as long as you can keep up on your other work, then that's not a problem at all. Okay? Okay. I just expect you know, due dates to be met, and that's your half hour. I mean, whatever you need help with is what she can help you with. Eleanor, what in the heck are you doing? You have been playing. You've been away from the room. Now you're playing with stuff. Come on. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Are we good for Sorry. today? All right. Sorry. Okay, um, Devin, if you want to stay on for a second, I can talk to you, okay? But the rest of you, I'll see you in the morning. All right, see you tomorrow morning, Sherry. Good job, everybody. Finally free from this uniform prison. <laughs>